I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have to try to figure out a, a, yeah. See, as president, I could have de yeah. uh, Now I can't, you know, but this is yeah, classic. Now, now we have a problem. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. It's so yeah. cool. Yeah. I mean, it's so, I'm, look, we here and I have a, and you probably almost didn't believe me, but now you believe me. No, it's, I believe It's incredible, you. right? No. They, hey, bring some, uh, bring some Cokes in, please. Want. Now, Trump is responding on Truth Social to the audio being leaked, and this is what he writes. The deranged special prosecutor Jack Smith, working in conjunction with the DOJ and FBI, illegally leaked and spun a tape and transcript of me, which is actually, Trump says, an exoneration, rather than what they would have you believe. This continuing witch hunt is another election interference scam. They are cheaters and thugs. Well, joining us now to discuss this is Harvard Law professor, Newsmax analyst, Alan Dershowitz, whose new book, if you haven't picked it up, you need to. It is called Get Trump, the threat to civil liberties, due process, and our constitutional rule of law. Welcome in, Professor Dershowitz. It's always great to have you. I, I just wanna, there's two ways we can go here. This is serious in the fact that this is an illegal leak. So I want you to, to address that first, but also for the audio, is it serious enough that it's incriminating or is it what Trump says, an exoneration? Well, let's start with the leak. We're not sure whether it's an illegal leak or not. If it's prosecution, of course it's an illegal leak. This was presented to a grand jury. It's part of an ongoing investigation. It's conceivable that it could have been leaked by uh, the people who actually made the recording, people who are on Trump's staff. That would not be illegal. Mm -hmm. It's also possible, though unlikely, that somebody on Trump's legal defense team, without Trump's permission, may have leaked it. That would raise legal questions, ethical questions, and lawyer-client questions as well. But CNN's not going to tell us who leaked it to them. But uh, investigative journalists from your station and other places ought to be looking into that, because if it is a government leak, it can be extremely, extremely uh, a serious and could affect the case as well. As far as the content is concerned, I, I don't think that he can plausibly claim that what he was showing them was newspapers and magazines. It seems clear from the context. He was showing them something that he believed was probably still classified. Now, he may have been wrong about that. Mm -hmm. There are several ways in which documents become declassified. One is the president can do it. He says he didn't do that. But there is another way, and I think that's the way the uh, Trump defense team is going to be pushing this. They can say that the content of this material, the Milley plan yes. relating to Iran, had already been made public. Mm. Uh, and that's what Trump may have known when he said newspapers and magazines. If in fact, the content appeared publicly in any newspapers and magazines. That automatically declassifies it, whether or not the person showing it to them believed it was declassified. Well, that is certainly a legal strategy. I'm sure that they would uh, appreciate it from coming from you, and maybe they will employ. Um, you know, I want to get your reaction to Eileen Cannon denying a request from Jack Smith's office yesterday to keep the names of 84 potential witnesses secret. Um, you've been very clear here on our network, Professor Dershowitz, that you think this should be a televised trial. So your reaction to Smith trying to block people from knowing the names of these witnesses? There should be no secrecy in this case. Everything should be transparent. Everything should be out there. I would have had no problem, by the way, with this recording being disclosed properly by the proper authorities after a motion to the judge. But what I don't like is obviously uh, leaking if it's done by the prosecution or if it's done by Trump's defense team behind his back, which would be a terrible thing. I'm not suggesting that happened, but there right. are only three alternative sources of the material. While we spend so much time talking about this leaked audio today, some are saying we're totally ignoring the Biden family business and the IRS whistleblowers and a potential impeachment inquiry into Merrick Garland. I'd like to play a clip of something he said last year under oath when he was questioned about David Weiss, who was handling the case. The U.S. attorney in Delaware has been uh, advised that he has full authority uh, to, to make those kind of uh, referrals that you're talking about or to bring cases in other jurisdictions if he feels it's necessary. And I will assure that if he does, uh, he will be able to do that. Whistleblowers.
Attorneys say there are six people who were in a room when David Weiss said he was blocked from a special prosecutor, is blocked from bringing charges. Uh, do you think, Professor Dershowitz, that this Hunter plea deal still goes through with all these questions surrounding possible DOJ interference? Oh, it goes through because everybody wants it to go through on both sides. When you have both sides agreeing to a deal that looks like a pretty positive deal from Hunter Biden's point of view, it will go through. Uh, the question is, was Garland mistaken? Did he know? Did mm -hmm. something happen without his knowledge? Obviously, uh, the U.S. attorney for Delaware should have had the authority to go to the District of Columbia, to go to California, to go to wherever the evidence led him. And if he was blocked from doing that, then somebody was violating the orders of Attorney General Garland. And that has to come out because you can't have a thorough investigation if it's limited to, what, the second or third smallest state in the union. Um, and uh, um, it, it just uh, it, it makes no sense at all. Well, we know Speaker McCarthy would like to have uh, Mr. Weiss come in and testify. We'll see where that leads to. But as always, uh, great legal analysis. Professor Dershowitz, pleasure. Good to see you today. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.